hey guys what's up okay we are going to continue with our video series of speed optimization for a wordpress website however we have already dealt with so many topics so let me just give you a quick recap what we have already talked about and these are the five things web hosting image compression ssl cdn and image cdn we have already talked about it you could you can find the links in the description of and we have made a complete playlist now in this video we are going to start our next section that is the three methods which i already talked about in the previous videos the first method would be using free plugins we are going to further optimize our wordpress website we have already done a lot of optimization let's further optimize by choosing any of the three methods you have to choose any of the three methods so if you are you're going to use free plugins and that is good for beginners then i think uh, uh, which i'll be starting in this video itself the second method after i complete the free plugin i'll tell you what premium plugin you should purchase and what would be best for your website and the third would be for siteground hosting solely if you are using siteground hosting they give a plugin called sg optimizer so we are we are going to uh, optimize our website with help of that plugin so for this uh, i'm going to use free plugins we are starting this in the vi this video itself and in the free plugin section we are going to see around 5 6 or maybe more it will it may be added afterwards so lazy load we have to reduce some server response time caching static resources such as J javascript css and html we are going to optimize that and we have to load javascript asynchronously however let's start with lazy load in this video without wasting any time okay so uh, before starting i would like if you can subscribe if you have not yet done subscribe to my youtube channel and share the video as much as you can fine as you can fine so let's first learn about what is a lazy load function in a wordpress website lazy load function means deferring the loading of images or videos or iframes how uh, what is that what i meant by deferring for example i'm on this screen this section is visible to me so this image should load first when i scroll down and when i require to see this image then it should load why it needs to be loaded up front it doesn't need to be loaded up front for, for example i scroll down further and this image should load when i need to see it when it is required then this image should load and that is called lazy load or deferring the image loading time fine this will obviously reduce server response time and it will help you uh, gain some speed for your website fine so let's let's do this with a free plugin and it's the best and easiest plugin whatever plugins i'm suggesting i have already checked on at least six seven websites so you can be rest assured that it is going to work seamlessly with your wordpress website i'm talking about the best because some plugins may have lot of features and that can have conflict with your other plugins and can break your website so what i'm suggesting you i'll talk about a free plugin and we'll also check their settings so go to plugins and add new as we usually do and let's type in a3 lazy and the first product should be a3 lazy load and yes we need to install this product a3 lazy load by a3 ref software this is, this is for me the best plugin it has around 2 million active installations or rather 200,000 active installations and let's activate this plugin let's configure the settings the first plugin let's configure the settings fine settings are pretty simple but we need to know few things let's enable housekeeping what is housekeeping housekeeping is it will delete everything uh, it will not, not leave any tables or data when you delete the plugin that is how uh, clean up on deletion right so let's enable that feature lazy load let's enable lazy load that's what we have installed this plugin for lazy load images there are six options in lazy load images tab you need to enable each and every one of them like enable lazy load for images images in content images in widgets post thumbnails gravatars and no script support no script support is if like someone has disabled their javascript then there should be a fallback image and that is that option so you should enable uh, all six options for better optimization 
if you want to play with it and you want some of the like post thumbnails you want to load up front when the page is loading you can definitely disable this feature or you can explore your things but i recommend enabling each and every one of them exclude images you can exclude images fine the next section is lazy load videos and iframes i would like you to turn each and every option here as well for example iframe in content widgets and no script support and this is essential for proper optimization but if you want you can disable any of them and also exclude by URIs and page types if you want to disable lazy load feature on your home page or certain post or pages then you can do it from here by enabling any one however I recommend to keep everything uh, disabled means you want to enable lazy load feature on each and every pages or post of your websites fine script load optimization the theme loader function should be footer WordPress mobile template should be enabled for both effect and style it's spinner or you can choose between fade in or spinner means when the image is loading what should be the effect I'll show you in afterwards what what it means by that and background color you can choose as per your choice image load threshold keep it to zero and this is an important feature jetpack jetpack site accelerator or photon compatibility if you have enabled jetpack site accelerator or photon then you must enable this feature as we have already done when we were applying an image CDN for our website so we have enabled jetpack photon feature that's why we are enabling it but if you have not enabled jetpack then I would recommend not to enable it and keep it to disabled otherwise it may have a conflict but if you are, have enabled as we have done when we were applying image CDN then I recommend to enable this feature because then it would work properly and then click just click save changes these were the essential settings that you must know and that you must configure your a3 lazy load plugin for proper optimization of wordpress website so although this page doesn't have a lot of images but if we refresh but i'll show you one more website which is image uh, heavily loaded with images one of my websites and that website is wordpressguru.shop and i use it mostly for uh, selling GPL plugins and themes I can assure you give you guarantee that they are 100% general virus free files I have checked up many times you can watch my video on GPL themes and plugins so what I mean by lazy load let's understand that let's not divert from the topic this is lazy load when it is required then the images would load rather than loading all the images up front for example when I scroll down see the images are now going to load now going to load not when the web page the complete page is loading let's go down further and see these are and that spinner thing was the option which you can choose between fade in and spinner so these are the complete settings these are the lazy load feature which will obviously enhance your wordpress website and a3 lazy load do it seamlessly i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please like and if you have any doubts do comment and i'll definitely reply as i usually do for most of my comments and do subscribe uh, thank you so much for watching